Hi, I am Alexis Graff, a 7th grader from Mammoth Middle School. I was on a field trip looking at uplift in the Long Valley Caldera. Have you ever wondered how scientists measure uplift? For those of you who don't know, uplift is a force or pressure that pushes up on the Earth's crust, causing a dome. In the Long Valley Caldera, that pressure is magma under the crust. I am here with Dr. Wilkinson, a geologist from the United States Geological Survey. He helps to explain the different ways we can measure uplift. How do you monitor the movement of magma in the Long Valley Caldera area? Here we use a combination of techniques. Seismicity is a big one because as molten fluid travels up into the conduit that would be below the volcano, it triggers small earthquakes by fracturing the rock at depth. And then as that magma travels farther and farther closer to the surface, you can actually measure that deformation through a combination of techniques. One of those methods is global positioning system instruments, dilatometers, and tilt meters that would all record, uh, measure deformation at the surface. Uh, a lot of the geological forces that cause the volcanic formations that you can see along 395 result from magma, magma that is intruded from depth and then slowly but surely rises to the surface. The, the magma is kind of buoyant so it wants to come up and then eventually when the pressure is released you get a volcanic eruption or a lava flow. What are your GPS units telling you? What kind of data are you uh, For the last Seven years or so, the uplift in the resurgent dome has been fairly flat, meaning that we're not getting a lot of uplift or ground deformation. Basically, we have 12, probably more than 12 GPS antennas scattered about from south of here all the way up to Mono Lake. And with this network of GPS instruments, if any of them start either going up or down or, or sideways, since we have the network, we can basically measure the distance between all of the GPS antennas and then we can measure whether the ground is deforming up or if it's subsiding or what kind of activity activity we're getting. You know, basically the seismicity in the Long Valley Caldera has been quiet since about 1998-1999 and the uplift rate across the resurgent dome has also been fairly flat. Let's say you take a balloon, right, and you blow it up to where it's pretty full but not, not ready to burst. Okay, so then you want to, and then you make two points on that balloon, let's say A and B, or casa and crack in the, in the case of measuring with GPS. And then add a little more pressure to it, just blow some more air into it, pretend that air is molten fluid. As you increase that pressure, you're going to deform that balloon, so the line that we just drew between casa and crack is going to get longer because you're, you're, basically doming up the surface of the earth. Thanks, Dr. Wilkinson. It sure was nice of you to take the time to explain how you monitor activity in the Long Valley Caldera. Wow, that field trip was fun, but I'm so ready for a nap. Goodbye.